Good morning, everyone. This is Haral Ambos Pissoros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 30th of uh, March. Dollar slides on Yellen's remarks. Yesterday, the Fed chairwoman struck a cautious tone in her remarks before the Economic Club of uh, New York, highlighting external downside risks to the US outlook, such as uh, slower pace in uh, global growth. She added that as this weakness threatens to harm the US, the Fed tried to jump ahead of it and adjusted its uh, forecasted path of policy in order to make conditions more accommodative and diminish the effects of uh, such a shock. The FOMC will thus raise uh, the federal fund uh, rate gradually and as uh, the global headwinds begin to dissipate. Chair Yellen's comments came in contrast with uh, the recent hoggish remarks from F FOMC members who advocated rate hikes as early as April in light of resilient U.S. data. As a result, her dovish rhetoric pushed the U.S. Uh, dollar off the cliff against its major counterparts. We expect that the dollar's uh, future direction is likely to continue to depend on incoming data as uh, the Fed chair reiterated that the actual rate path will be data-driven. The implied uh, market probability for an April uh, rate hike has now dropped almost to zero, while the implied uh, Fed fund uh, rate curve has shifted downwards, indicating that investors now expect future hikes to be even more gradual throughout uh, the coming years. Overall, this reinforces our view that uh, the Fed is likely to hike only once uh, this year and that September and December appear to be the most likely candidates for such a move. As for today, during the European day, Germany's uh, flash CPI for March is expected to show that consumer prices continue to fall in Eurozone's growth engine, but at a slower pace than previously. As usual, Germany's uh, regional CPIs will be released ahead of the country's uh, overall print. Thus, we will uh, look at the larger uh, regions for guidance on where the headline figure may come in. Expectations for the nation's rate are for an increase to minus 0.1% year over year from minus 0.2% previously. A rise in Germany's inflation rate could increase speculation that the Eurozone's uh, pre preliminary CPI due out on Thursday may follow suit. However, although the rate is expected to have risen, we believe that a positive print or at least a zero rate is needed to boost the euro. From Eurozone, we get the final consumer confidence index uh, for March, which is expected to have fallen further into the negative territory. From Norway, the AKU unemployment rate uh, for January is forecast to have remained unchanged. The forecast is supported by the nation's official unemployment rate for the same month, which uh, remained unchanged as well. From the US, we get the ADP employment report for uh, March, two days ahead of the non far payrolls. The ADP figure is expected to show that uh, the private sector gained 194k jobs less than it did the previous month, where the print uh, hit 214k. Despite the slowdown, this is still quite close to the 200k point, and also in line with the Fed's view from the latest policy statement that the labor market will continue to strengthen. A solid ADP report could increase speculation that the NFP print due out on Friday may also come near the 200k mark and thereby support uh, the dollar at the release. Indeed, uh, NFP is currently expected at 205k. However, the NDP print is a less reliable predictor for the NFP than the payroll forecast itself. We have two speakers on today's agenda, Chicago Fed President Charles Evans and one ECB Governing Council member. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harold Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.